Guys, it's finally here. It's Media Blast Day. <laughs> Let's do it. Off-road and Camaro. More, more than he. Yeehaw! Sideways. Okay, guys, we're out here at Nut Farm. So we got Ray from California Dustless Sandblasting. They're gonna be doing the work today because I don't have this machinery, and you know, you hire people that do it for a living because they know what they're doing. But in this instance, they're gonna do the bottom with a dry blast, the exterior, basically anything that we're worried about warping, they're gonna do a wet to keep the heat down and then the interior will be dry as well. But the idea here is to get all this crud off the car and really find out what we're gonna be dealing with for the bodywork. The scariest part is we have no idea what we're about to unveil here. So we know there's gonna be some issues here. You could, I mean, you could straight up see that. We found some problems. We have no idea what's how this is gonna look around here. We're a little worried around the edges of all of the glass areas but the big concern is the a pillars so we found this later when we did our test we tested down in here but we didn't test here and so we're concerned there a little concerned up in here but the nice thing is is it's where glass is going to be ultimately so it should be easy to patch up and hide it's it's mainly if there's anything else hiding that we just don't know about yet so Ray and his team's going to get at it we got front fenders we got we'll get the doors and the trunk i have my old core support i'm gonna bring that down and get that cleaned up and uh yeah it's gonna be fun now we gotta move the truck so it doesn't get too dirty Well, they're making some quick work. It's looking pretty good. Just a big shout out to them because they, they've been doing areas. They have us come check it out. They're pointing out areas that, you know, the metal's a little bit thinner than they typically like, or just pointing out areas in general, just like, hey, you want to watch this area? Um, we noticed a few areas that we had tack welded earlier with all the rust and crap on there. We knew that there was going to be some touch-ups, but um, you could just really see there's some bigger areas that we're going to address now. Um, they're just getting to the point where they were wrapping up, you know, uh, where the A-pillar was, but they're going to wait for the wet on that just because of how it looks and everything. So they're getting to that now, but I mean, good Lord, we got a nice car here. There's not a, there's really hardly any spots outside of what we pointed out earlier that are showing to be things that we need to touch up or do. So uh, really excited about that because that means less money spent on continuing uh, body work. Obviously there's a few metal areas that have to be touched up. We could probably do that all today outside of the A pillar areas. That's gonna take a little bit more work, um, but we're gonna be cutting that up and putting new metal in there and all that stuff. We know that has to be done, so we're not worried about it. Overall, I'm just, I'm excited. I've been talking about this, getting to this point for a long time. So we may even tape it off and get the undercoat side done today. I'll do a separate video for that, but um, yeah. So we're gonna keep it going. We're finally gonna get the rear axle done. They're gonna blast this, clean it up. We're gonna try to leave all the Detroit Speed new stuff untouched, but we'll see how it all comes out. Messy work. Put the cart right behind me, punk. <laughs> so they're making some quick work of it, which is awesome. It means I paid them less money. It's, just, it's all expense. How much you want to spend? You can have them come out and do it for a week and get everything perfect, or we can get everything just right. Now, obviously, we want it to be the best it can be, but without being a million dollars. That's Finding that fine line and yeah, I don't know. What do you, what do you think? He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Well, his car looks amazing, so he doesn't have to know. <laughs> that looks a lot better. 
did a pretty good job. Now keep in mind, we're gonna just hit this with satin hot rod black so that way throughout the entire life of the car, no matter what, we can get the same kind of paint, touch it up, make it look good. We're gonna hit all the Detroit speed parts with it. Obviously the main hub, we got a new cover for the back so that's gonna look nice and brand new. And it's just gonna be nice and black under there, touch up and the shocks will stand out being all beautiful like they are from Detroit Speed. And yeah, so I mean, this rear ends, basically we're gonna put some rust inhibitor on it right now. Keep in mind, we still have the one step where we have to weld the axle to the main plates still. So that's only gonna happen once we have weight on the car and the car sitting on the ground basically done. So we're pretty far away from that. The nice thing is we can coat this all black, then get to the point where we weld that to that and then coat it with black again and it's all gonna match look good. Don't have to worry with powder coating and all that crap. This isn't gonna be a 100 point show car. This is gonna be a cruiser, but looks really nice and easy to maintain. But I mean, man, maybe I didn't need that new back plate. This thing looks, <laughs> it did so good. It's amazing how media blasting can just, this thing's gonna look brand new. It's gonna be awesome. I dropped my gap and start unveiling some of the Bondo they had hidden in here, huh? Yeah. This one. Got Bondo everywhere. Yeah. That's all right. We'll get it off. This we one's got, got a lot. <laughs> this one seems out a lot, but I'm more worried about over there. Don't we'll worry. See. Yeah. He's got a little hammer in his support. <laughs> yeah, but you can see right here, a little bit of work. We've uncovered a little bit of rust. So you can see the underside body. They did a. They, I mean, they just got in here and went at it. Nice, clean look. Obviously, there's gonna be some areas that we wanna touch up and make look good again, but we're gonna get it flipped over and uh, get the real body work going. Got the trunk. I told them not to go any deeper than this because we're gonna put rust inhibitor on top of that. Still gotta do the body. So we found a couple couple waves in the body itself that are gonna be worked out, but Looking this uh, front fender over and you can see there's quite a bit of work that would need to be done to save this more than it would cost just to buy an original replacement fender. You can see there's a lot of body work here that's indented quite a bit. We're gonna, I had them go ahead and stop on this to save time because we're not gonna mess with that. We're, the other one's twice as bad as well. So I went to classicindustry.com and I just ordered two new fenders the best we could do. Right now we're crossing our fingers that this kind of damage is not what we see along that rail. Because if we do, that's going to be a lot of body work that we're going to be taking on. Like I was saying earlier, it's, it's just one of those things that you start uncovering stuff that you didn't expect to see. And let me, let me get out of the sunlight, but you can see clearly there's a lot of work to be had there. This whole front cone looks like it was just bashed and they tried to get it straight and filled it all with Bondo. The other side over here, you can see kind of the same thing in here. Just, it was filler and Bondoed in. You would have never seen it until you peeled it back and you just sit back. You gotta be like, well, is this gonna cost, is this gonna cost more than eight hours of fabrication to replace? We're not, we're not creating original numbers matching car here guys, so. Yeah, it's gonna cost a heck of a lot more to fix this than it would be just to buy two new fenders that are flawless. So yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna get two new front fenders. It'll match the OER RS replacement that we have anyway. So, you know, the whole front end of the car will be new. And we don't have to worry about any of that. We don't have to worry about going down the pipeline of fixing this. I'm gonna hold on to these. Maybe there's someone out there that wants original fenders. These need some work. If you guys are interested, I got them. <laughs> now, 
we gotta find out the rest of the car to see if there's any gremlins hiding on there. And this tells me there's probably gonna be some gremlins. They did the core support in the original license plate bracket, which is one of those things that I did wanna keep, I thought would be cool to keep. So that's the original license plate bracket to the car, original core support. We'll paint this up, we'll see if we're gonna use it or not, but worst case scenario, I paint it up, make it new, and I can put it on, you know, marketplace for someone who wants an original core support. We'll see. So on the bright side, the trunk lid's good, has a little Bondo on it, but there's there's no divots, there's no uh, rust eating into it, so we're good there. We got a door up over here that we're gonna start peeling away, see how bad that is, but um, fingers, fingers crossed. I can't cross them on ah, there we go. We are at an update point. So they started working on the corners. They're taking just layers and layers off at a time. Luckily there was no Bondo or filler or anything like that in here. So we're just getting down. Looks like there's some rust under the primer. Gonna get that all off. Our big concern points were up here on the A pillar and they definitely revealed a lot of Bondo, a lot of chunks missing. We're gonna go to work on this. We're gonna fix this. We're gonna fix all this. We'll clean it up even more. He's gonna hit it again. Same with down here in the corner. So we'll get down into here, clean this all up, fix it up. Now we were really worried about the rear windows and it looked like there was some fiberglass and stuff in here, but it looks way better than we anticipated. There's few, few spots here and there that could definitely be fixed pretty easily. But again, they just did a first pass. They're gonna go over it again, clean it all up, making some progress. So overall, um, we haven't gotten to the quarters or the lower panels and stuff. That's the next and last worry point for the car. But we're really pleased with how everything's looking right now. Oh man, I act like I had to do all the work. <laughs> I think the car came out pretty good. The biggest thing is we wanted to reveal what was potentially wrong that was hidden. And we found quite a bit of it. And it's mostly on the other side and I'll show you here in a second. So. We just got it to a point, we rinsed it all off. We put rust inhibitor all over the car. The plan at this point is to get a coat of primer on it tomorrow after she's able to sit up. So in the beginning of the video I highlighted, and it's not really, e I keep saying the A pillars, but it's really the lower dash portion, a little bit on the A pillars, but you can see where there's damage that needs to be cut out, patched in, re-welded in. So this is gonna be some work definitely for welding and heath he's over here he's taking pictures you can see this side goes a little bit further in but this is where the water's draining down and it's just puddling up in there so definitely some work to be done outside of that all of the lower panels are good and i can't see what i'm pointing out but all the lower panels are good here we did find a little bit we found some uh, bondo in here with a dent we found uh, a dent up in here. You can see right there. You can see where they did some work in here. It's really not as bad as we thought. The biggest dent is gonna be along this area right in there. And then the biggest dent is in the rear. So we saw all that Bondo there. We can do a better job pushing that out. Use a lot less Bondo, get it straightened out. Same with that corner over here, but Outside of that, it's looking really good. We were really worried about the rear window frames. There's a little bit of damage in here, a little bit up here. But outside of that, I think we can put the those rust coatings in there and be really good. The interior of the car, I think, turned out really good. I'll get it from the other side where the sun's not blowing. Blowing out the image. The bottom, as you saw earlier in the video, came out really nice. You can see the interior. Again, it's, all the wetness is the rust inhibitor. It's a mixture with water. We didn't have them blast the back piece here. It wasn't rusty, it was good to go. There was some rust on the back side. We had them blast that. 
the uh, the mini tubs look good. It just all panned out nice. See the roof. You got a lot of body work, huh, Craig? It's a 50 year old car. It looks good. Yeah. <laughs> it looks better than me. And I'm not even that old. So as far as the doors go, yeah. Look at that, honey. Craig's Craig's gonna make love to this door, right? <laughs> With this, he's got this little mojo he keeps talking about. So you could definitely see something, something happened to this. And this matched up actually with the fender as well, with the crunching. Um, Craig feels good. He, he's like, we can get that body line good. We'll get it all fixed. What's wrong with the red fender and red door on these Camaros? Right? Let's, is that pass? Wait, this is, this is passenger side. No, yeah. drive, is it? Passenger. Yeah, passengers screwing up Camaros. Yeah, this door wasn't nearly as bad. There's a couple, there's a couple spots here and there. There's a dent, but Craig and he feel like this isn't anything that can't be overcome. My dad and I will be up here doing some, some, a lot of body work, if not my dad, me. Next so. is assembly. So we're gonna put the car together. We're gonna prime the whole thing, fix what we gotta fix as far as metal goes and get it under primer and then we will assemble the car and um, find out exactly um, where we're at with it and what we're going to have to do to get it to line it up come out with sure. all the lines that i know you're going to want and, and it'll look good yeah it's crazy to see the car at this state though guys like it just was so decrepit and the etching layer that they had on there was it was hiding things but always is I'm feeling good about it. It's not bad. But that's all I got, guys. Media Blast, huge shout out to Craig and Heath. They put in so much time to get this car here. Um, <laughs> Heath's, uh, who built the cart? Was it both of you guys? Or was it mostly Heath? Mostly Heath. So, got the custom cart, helped out a lot, made it easier for the Media Blast guys to get it done. Actually, I don't know how they would have got it done if we didn't have a cart. <laughs> Would have been hanging it from tractors. Turned out good. So we got a lot of work ahead of us and uh, looking forward to sharing a lot of it. So if you guys are interested in seeing more, hit that subscribe button. If you guys haven't seen the massive playlist, I think we're at 23 videos now surrounding this car. So look for more detailed information, more guides, more overviews, more me learning. There's gonna be a lot of learning because I don't know how to do a lot of this stuff. So it's a lot of learning. And I hope you guys follow along for the journey. But outside of that, thanks for watching. And until next time, I will see you on the road.